for the next segment. It is possible that the tides are turning on the Alberta condo market. And uh, and listen, there's nobody better to speak to this than Mr. Alberta himself. So, uh, you know, we got a couple of charts here, Patrick, about the Edmonton condo market and the Calgary condo market. And, and fair warning to everybody that's listening, because you have been talking about this for some time, which is people, especially those from BC and from Ontario that take their money and they go into Alberta and they buy condos as if the condo market was the same in all provinces. That's just not the case. And uh, interesting, Patrick, we got to monitor this closely because there could be some turmoil coming down the pipe here. Well, I've been as clear as clear can be when it comes to condos in Edmonton. I've said, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You want to live in one, go crazy, have fun, have a great life living in your condo. Do not buy it as an investment. And we're investors and we have to look and say, well, where's that return on investment? Where's the cash flow, et cetera? Edmonton is not the place to buy a condo. No, it's not a place to buy the condo. Uh, for any number of reasons, and I won't get into it, but you know, this just kind of verifies or really in, you know, shows exactly what I've said all along. And you look at where condo prices were even you know a few months ago, even a couple of years ago, and then wham, you know, they've gone from over two hundred twenty thousand to you know an average of one hundred seventy thousand, and that has happened really quite quickly relative to how the general real estate market moves. That's the challenge with condos specifically in Alberta or in Alberta, but specifically in Edmonton in this case. But let's face it, JG, if you're in Ontario and you've got a realtor who's not really a investor focused realtor, you're looking at this and you're looking at these prices going 170 grand, 200 grand, you know, give me eight, you know, I'll take them all. And when you compare it to what's happening in even, you know, Vancouver and or Toronto. And so a lot of that capital is coming out of you know, Vancouver and Toronto, as an example, the point is, is they're unsophisticated, they're uneducated, they're buying into the price, the cheap, rather than asking the question, well, why are they so cheap? Oh, okay, well, ask that question. So here's what's interesting about this chart, Patrick, I think you're, you're, you're absolutely right. But another thing that really stands out to me is just a how volatile this market is in general, like, forget the big drop we've just seen here at the end of this chart. Just look in general. I mean, this thing goes from 185 to 225 on a regular basis. That's a massive swing on, on such a small number. You're not going from 1.8 million to 2.2 million here. You're going from 185 to 225. Uh, it's a pretty big swing and it's quite volatile. And if you look at the number of transactions, I think it illustrates why. You know, you get a couple transactions that are really low people that, and, and like you, and this is, we've talked about this many times, Patrick when condo buildings hit the market, whether it's a condo building of 20, whether it's a condo building of 50, whatever the case may be, if if there's been an, uh, an oversaturation happening and, and those gotta go, they get marked down. That that drags the entire market down with it. And I think you're starting to, you, you know, you could be seeing some of that. And this is the Edmonton chart. Here's the Calgary chart. Not nearly as bad, Patrick, for sure. You can see a lot more volatility in Edmonton. Uh, probably because they're communists over there in Edmonton, aren't they? That's what I, that's what I've been told. Recently. I know about that. They're 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 definitely socialists, you know, based on their uh, their local municipal government. So, JG, our subscribers are actually ticking up. Yes, we're winning. So, just a reminder, subscribers, and uh, for those of you who are watching this, like, subscribe, comment. Let's get those algorithms growing so we can grow this channel. And uh, just a reminder. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. JG, we can grow this channel. We're, we're, we're Let's do it. At it. <laughs> but when we come to Calgary, when we look at what's happening in the Calgary market, you know, I've said this many times is that this is a lot of what's driving this right now is market sentiment. So money coming in from out of province into to Calgary. Now, the difference of demographics in Calgary uh, versus Edmonton is notable. And I think we have to pay attention to those demographics. Now, the other side of this, however, is that as things come online, there's a lot of pre-construction here. Uh, caution Calgary, and I've said it, and I'll continue to say it, which is Calgary is not the same market as Edmonton, but you have to use a lot of caution in Calgary because it gets very specific, like literally down to the right block if you're gonna buy or invest in a condo in that Calgary market. This shines a light on what we say all of the time, investor focused realtor who they themselves are investors who understand that market intimately because there's so many nuances from one street to the next so 
Is there some optimism in terms of the condo market in Calgary? Yes, but it really is based on what's happening uh, in the in, in any given neighborhood, so to speak. There's some thought, though, JG, is that there's some argument, and there is in the short term, that all boats rise on a high tide. So when you have a bunch of capital coming into a market like Calgary, I mean, relative to, let's say, Toronto or Vancouver, it's not a big market. And condos aren't the primary focus for most people moving into that region. Having said all of that, all markets, all, all boats do rise on a high tide. But now you're playing the timing game, which is, okay, when do I get out? When does the music stop? When they come online, I don't know. So all things to consider. Well, listen, listen, that theory, all boats rise on a high tide. That's what people were telling themselves in 2022. Yeah. And those people are sure regretting it now. So I'd be careful for those who are thinking that's a good strategy. Yeah. They should be a little careful on that. A little cautious. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Thank you, Mr. Alberta. You're welcome. If you like what you learned here, go to the description below and subscribe for our free insiders newsletter where you can also stay up to date for our upcoming events and our courses. If you want to see more stuff like this, click here. If you want to see the entire show, click there.